sorry, I haven't filmed a video in a little bit, so I just need to get warmed up and we'll be good to go. But hi, welcome back. Welcome to my last video of this year, of 2022. This is the earliest I've been up in a while. I've been feeling very lazy and very unmotivated, which is the perfect way to go into a new year, but it is what it is. <sighs> Let's get the day started. I just curled my hair. It's looking a little crazy, but I think it's gonna fall a little bit more. I've been trying to grow my hair out and it's definitely getting longer. I remember when I initially cut my hair and these two front pieces, well, when they were straight, it was like over here. So it's grown a good amount. It's been taking a lot of discipline to not take scissors to my hair. If you know me, if you've watched me for a while, you know that I love to cut my own hair. It's my favorite thing to do. And I haven't done it in a while because I have been wanting to grow it out. I don't think I've had long hair since high school. So that's what I'm trying to do. But I miss being impulsive. Whenever I was feeling impulsive, I would just grab scissors, chop. I'm kind of in one of those moods recently. So now when I'm impulsive, I feel like I need an outlet for it. I've been itching to get more tattoos. I just don't know when. I don't quite, well, I actually do know what I want to get. I have a whole notes list. <laughs> Not today, but it's on my mind. So if you see me pop out with more, just know that's why. If you want to make a killer coffee, I swear using this milk, specifically this creamer, will do it. This is the creamer I use. It is so good. And this is the milk that I use. And then I just use Starbucks Nespresso pods. Best coffee. Every time someone comes over to my apartment and I make them a coffee, they're like, why is this better than Starbucks? I don't know. It's the magic touch. It's the sprinkle of love. Today is a jam pack filled fun day ahead. If you don't already know, I have a podcast. It is called On My Mind. You can listen on Spotify, Apple, iHeart, wherever you listen to your podcast. I've had this podcast since April of this year. And going into the new year, I'm starting season two of the podcast, making a few little changes here and there. So I'm doing a photo shoot today. I'm gonna get a new cover photo, some fun content for Instagram. I have a photographer friend who has her own studio this month. So we are gonna be shooting there, which I'm so excited about. Studios to shoot in are few and far between in Hawaii. So I'm really glad that we're getting to do this. It's kind of a big day because I wanna focus a lot more on my podcast next year and really pour into that. And I really wanna pour more into the socials, so I laid out all my props, all my outfits last night. The color scheme of my podcast is green and cream. So I'm bringing these green Converse. I'm obsessed with this prop. You guys are gonna die. This is the cutest thing I've ever seen. It's this little vintage telephone. I thought that'd be so cute for a shot where I'm like, I'm bringing my little notebook that says podcast on it my headphones, and then also my outfits. You can see lots of pops of green, and we're also gonna do some digitals, so just for my own personal use, get some headshots, just fun stuff. It's gonna be a fun day. I obviously wanted to bring you all along because I don't do stuff like this all the time. My life's been pretty boring recently, I'm not gonna lie. I haven't done a whole lot of anything, so this is like the first day that I actually have plans. <laughs> Photo shoot makeup is done. Here's my little outfit. I packed all of my props in here. There is so much stuff I shoved in here. And then in this bag, I have all of my little outfit changes, makeup touch ups. Let's head to the studio. Wow, so much stuff. So much stuff. <laughs> no, I brought so much stuff too because I was like, I don't want to carry it later. Yeah. But look how cute this outfit is. Can you reach this? Yeah, I have a step stool. <gasps> Are you trying to say I'm short? No. <laughs> I'm just saying like that's tall for Dude, me. Are you kidding? I <laughs> I go, I'm literally five three. <laughs>
This is Lala. She's why, why am I awkwardly like <laughs> my woman is like the woman, the studio. We're about to take some photos. Way too many. Too many. Far too many. Oh my Let's gosh. get it going. Yes. This is so awkward. <laughs> I no, cannot. Really not. <laughs> yes, you can. You're like, you go ready. The magic is about to happen. Yay! All right, we've been in the studio for about an hour. I just changed into this little shirt. We have all the props. I'm obsessed. This looks so good in photos. Lala's killing it. In the studio. In the Yay! studio. <laughs> oh, that's cute. Right? <laughs> We're really doing the most today. I know the vibes. We're doing the most. <laughs> no, you're good. I'm moving. Okay. <laughs> so I'm just doing different angles. Oh my god. Wait, that's so fun. Wait, shut up. Wait, that's so fun. So cute. I love that. I love that little setup. I'm gonna lay down. I'm gonna pretend. I'm gonna like put my feet up. Yes. In the air. I think that's so cute. Okay. And you can even be like, yeah. Your book up. And I'm gonna use my core strength to not have this whole thing come. <laughs> So yeah, don't put your feet on yeah, the back. I got you. Oh, yeah, I, I would just have your back. I'll float it. Yep. Just float it. Yeah. We're faking it. We're faking it today. And <laughs> most days on social media. To be honest, because yeah. then it will be like feet, and then it says podcast. <laughs> I'm weak. Um. I mean. Or you can keep it closed. I have like oh. a little. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see that. That's cute. Like, do you like this? Because it like says. Oh, that's cute. I like that. Okay. I love that. That's great. Let's point your toes, I think. Yeah. Okay. Or even just like make them different. Yeah. Like to this. <laughs> or, like, or maybe try. <laughs> just <kind> of... <laughs> I'm so weak. <laughs> cute. Yay. Relax. How's your core? <sighs> Workout for the day is done. <laughs> I know, literally. We've kind of been flying through this. I know, this is way faster. Oh my gosh. This I've done an outfit sick. change. Lala's testing the lighting. I have a Shirley. I have a Shirley Temple. <laughs> you know, I had to do it. My signature drink, cheers. <laughs> Wait, moment of truth. I wonder if these... See, like, what What happened? They're Why cute! Are they purple? It's so cute, though. It's so cute. We just took 200 photos, which is apparently not a lot. Serve. Go. That's all you get to see. That's all you get to see, <laughs> non-edited. How many pictures do you usually take? Because we only took 200. A thousand and over. <laughs> but we just laid so, so quick. We slayed so cool because we knew what we wanted to do. Yeah. We executed. We had a vision board. Oh my gosh. <laughs> you can't, can't even see shit. See it. <laughs> so it's just like it's tease. Oh my gosh. Anyway, tease. if you're ever in Hawaii and you want to book a shoot, I'm going to put her Instagram on the screen. What is your username? Lala Loopsy with three O's. She's the best. <laughs> so fun to work Women with. Women only. <laughs> we kind of just wrapped. This is cute. I like it. Yeah, we kind of did. Um, Something fun. Something fun. I was like, you know what? Let's change it up. It's oh, cute. FBI. FBI. <laughs> spy kids. Spy. No, it's really given spy kids. Lots of outfit changes, lots of props, and we did it. And that didn't take as long as I thought it was gonna take. Mm -mm. It was really good. That's a wrap. I've got my nasty Shirley Temple. So if you see the pictures I post in this, well, this isn't nasty, we were, but like we were together. On a last minute budget. Yeah. <laughs> We were, you know, throwing things together. I mean, it looks like one, so. Mm. Yay, we did it. Ooh, ooh. I broke this. <laughs> she broke her film. That is so upsetting. It's Look at so that. It's so sad. And now the world will never know what was on here. 
I just finished up the shoot. That was so successful. I think we were taking photos for around two and a half hours. We got a bunch of looks done, all the podcast stuff done, and I did some fun like personal, just for my own Instagram, just for shits and gigs. It was so fun working with Lala. She is one of my favorite people. Definitely check her out. Follow her on Instagram. She is so sweet, absolutely the best. I'm so excited to see how the photos are gonna turn out because she is so good at what she does. I am a hungry, hungry girl right now, so I'm going to pick up some food, get some lunch for myself. I got some stuff from Whole Foods, nothing crazy. I kind of just wanted a few little things here and there. I mainly went to get something to eat for lunch and then I just grabbed a few things that I needed. So I got some plain bagels. This was a hungry purchase, which I pretty much ate the entire thing on the car ride home. The car ride home was about 10 minutes and this thing is pretty much gone. It's moon cheese in the flavor Rowdy Ranch. Cream cheese for my bagels. And also I was feeling a little snazzy, a little fancy. So I got some smoked salmon to put on the bagels with the cream cheese. I also have capers. So I think I'm gonna make like a loaded bagel later or tomorrow or something. Some chicken strips, salsa, balls of cheese, mozzarella of course, a tuna salad little kit. I'm feeling lazy so I didn't really feel like making anything myself. And then these little like cheese and meat things. So that's my little grocery haul. I think I'm about to eat this. The only other plans I have today are at 5.30. I'm gonna do a cycle class but I have a few hours up until then. This looks delicious though. So I'm gonna eat this right now. I have just been laying in bed, which I never do. I do not let myself get into bed ever during the day. It's not something I do just because I'll get so lazy and I don't know, for me being like under my sheets in the covers is for nighttime only. But today I was just feeling so exhausted. So I put on some clean clothes and I've just been chilling in bed. It was really nice for special occasions. I'm about to leave to my workout class. I have on my little set, but I have a little unboxing. Only two things, but I wanted to show you guys. I didn't know what this was, so I opened it, but I got my first ever PR box from Fenty Beauty, Rihanna herself. I'm so excited. I have had this before. It's such a good foundation. Haven't used it in a while though, so I'm excited to add that back into my routine. Their Fenty Glow Gloss, <gasps> their gloss bomb cream. This looks so delicious. Oh, ooh, this is the Ease Drop Blurring Skin Tint. I have never heard of this. I never really wear foundation, usually stuff like this where it's like a little bit less. I'm very excited to try that. And this is the Ease Drop Lit All Over Glow Enhancer. Cool. So excited to try. Thank you to Fenty. And then from Black Bow Swim, one of my favorite swimsuit companies, they sent over a few bikinis, which I'm so excited. I haven't gone to the beach in so long. I've been really wanting to go. I haven't been in the ocean in a while, so I've been itching for it and needing it. So very excited about this. I'll probably wear this whenever I go next, but look how adorable these little prints are. I'm obsessed. It's very much so spring vibes, even though we're just getting into winter, but I love this. And I think this one's my favorite one just because of the color but it's this beautiful sage green. This is my favorite style of bikini tops with the bralette. And I love when bottoms do the V shape because it snatches you. So good. Thank you to Black Bow Swim. I am so excited to wear these. I am about to head out to this workout class. I usually do morning workouts, but sometimes it's really nice to go in the later afternoon just because, I don't know, it gives me something to look forward to during the day. And also sometimes it's nice not to have like a chunk of time in the morning where I have to dedicate to working out because then it kind of throws off my day sometimes because then you have to like come home, shower, get ready. So sometimes it makes my morning routine a little bit longer, especially if I have a lot of, a lot of stuff to get done. But if I do it in the afternoon, I can do whatever I need to do in the morning like I did today and then have a workout to look forward to. So today, the theme of the cycle ride is the naughty list. And I have a feeling the music is gonna be very explicit. 
which is just what I want, <laughs> just what I need in a cycle class. I'm so excited. I really am craving a good sweat. I got this little bouquet of flowers that Kuani Ki sent, which is so sweet. One of my all-time favorite swimsuit companies. And they sent me this little bouquet, which is so nice. I got a nice little <laughs> bouquet of roses from a not-so-secret admirer. If there's any boys or men watching this vlog right now, it really doesn't take much to make a woman's day. Go get her flowers. It doesn't even have to be a reason, but anyway. How cute! My skin woke up today and chose violence, so I'm gonna use this face mask. The brand is Asare, I think. Hannah recommended it to me, so I bought it. I've only used it once. I think I like it. I don't really know. One thing about me, I'm very easily influenced by my friends when it comes to things that they recommend or that they like, whether it's like a physical thing, like, oh, you should try this makeup product or skincare product. I, it's already bought, it's already in my cart. I'm already purchasing it. As soon as I hear a friend talk highly about something, if they recommend a restaurant, I'm eating there within the next 20 minutes. Now that I'm thinking about it, I feel like in general, sometimes I'm kind of easily influenced like, if I see something on TikTok, if I see a product going viral, if I see one person talking about something, it's already on its way. I, it's already being shipped because I, I, I buy it as soon as, oh, uh, it's an issue. It's an issue. I'm trying to work on that because I get a little impulsive with that sometimes. But anyway, face mask is on. I'm going to leave this on for about 15 minutes. Mmm, that is good. I just made a bagel with some cream cheese, lox, and little capers. I'm also wearing shoes in the house, only because I haven't worn them outside yet. So the bottoms are indeed fresh and clean, but Converse sent me these shoes, which is so cool. They are like these massive stompers, and I'm obsessed, so thank you, Converse. This was honestly such a random vlog that didn't really have any structure, but I just wanted to put out one last video, one last vlog for 2022. I'm so excited for all of the content that will be coming out this next year. If you stayed till this point in the video, first of all, you're a real one and I love you. And second of all, comment down below the avocado emoji. You have seen me change and go through so many things this last year and I appreciate you watching and following along. There's just been so much that has happened and it's crazy how much can change in a year because at the beginning of this year I had my moving vlogs and here we are now. I'm very excited for what's to come. If you don't follow my Instagram, you definitely should because I'm gonna be posting those photos from the photo shoot and also definitely stay tuned to the podcast and the podcast Instagram. I guess that's it. So I'll see ya in 2023. That sounds so crazy to say. I will see you next year. Mwah!